some young broke dude. Hope you're having a better weekend than me. Found out my girl cheated having a fivesome. Yes, sex with four guys in the bathroom of a house party this weekend after taking hours to confess. 2020 certainly hasn't disappointed. <laughs> Send me social distanced virtual hugs. A real man wouldn't be here tweeting. He would be fighting for his relationship and trying to understand why she felt she had to go to other men. I agree completely. The fact that it was four other dudes really shows how alone she felt in the relationship. Yes, exactly. There are ups and downs in a relationship and only a strong man who loves his woman will take the time to understand his role and why she did what she did. A hundred percent. I hope she's okay wherever she is. I swear, if they ever find out who decided to literally burn not only my grandmother but also her sister's grave, you'll be six feet in one too, you piece of shit, and I'll make sure you suffer. Heard the news about Kayla committing suicide today. I knew her from high school, and yes, it's tragic and sad, but as people know, I'm not one to shy away from saying what I truly feel and being honest, because honesty is one of my most important attributes, and this circumstance is no different. I feel like maybe if she was with someone better, and someone who looked after her, for example, me, maybe she wouldn't have took her life so young. I previously tried to get her to go out on various dates with me, but sadly got rejected numerous times. This hurt, but I never gave up, so why did she? she had given me the chance, maybe things would have turned out differently. Maybe I could have been her savior. In the end, I guess we'll now never know. Are you actually making her death about how you were butthurt because she wouldn't date you? Wow, absolute piece of shit. This is the most disgusting thing I've seen. You're a cunt, dude. Someone has lost a daughter, sister, best friend, and you writing this is fucking insensitive and horrible. Delete this or I'll fucking come around to your house and beat the shit out of you. Wow. Kayla was one of my closest friends, and reading this has made me furious. Words can't even explain how much I want to punch you in the face right now. How the fuck would you feel if someone in your family killed themselves and some sad freak wrote this on social media about them? Guarantee you wouldn't be so forgiving and nice. Go to hell, and I'll be showing this to Kay's parents, and if you think this whole thing is going to blow over, you're wrong. Big mistake writing this. Big mistake. So I made a post in a German Shepherd Facebook group. I misspelled Shepherd and this lady said, for God's sake, at least spell your breed right. And another lady said it wasn't a big deal. This is what the first lady said to the other lady. Fucking drop dead, you dirty ass whore. I will come and kill you and that's a fucking promise. I cheated on my boyfriend with the same guy his ex cheated on him with. I don't know what got into me. I knew who he was. I didn't like him, or at least at first I didn't. There was something about him that kept pulling me in. It was like I was intoxicated. There was this weird, undeniable sexual tension, and I was too weak to push him away. I'm not trying to make excuses. I know that this was my own choice, and I hate myself for it. I always loathed his ex for doing what she did, but now I think I understand her. I'm planning on telling him that I cheated, but I really can't tell him who with. It'll completely break him. I've never done anything this heinous. I feel like I'm losing my mind. If you knew that your neighbors had lost their child to suicide this year and were still mourning the loss, would you display this Halloween decoration directly across the street from them? What if they asked you on two occasions to consider removing it because of the insensitivity to their grieving? This is what is happening on our street. These shameful people are prioritizing this hideous display over the anguish of their neighbors. It is the most unempathetic thing I have ever seen in this neighborhood. Hashtag suicide awareness. My stepsister passed away last week in a car accident. She always wanted for my YouTube channel to have 9,000 subs. She also helped me make my newest video, which we both wanted to have 3,000 likes. She told me on her deathbed that she just wanted me to get 9,000 subs. Please help her reach her goal, even though she's not here. Man arrested for starting at least seven brush fires along I-205. The man was arrested Sunday afternoon for allegedly starting one fire. He was released and arrested again hours later after police said he started six more. He was taken to a hospital for a mental health evaluation, police said. My husband had to go train in the field to possibly deploy with the 82nd, but a lot of his stuff will be burned and gone. I only married you for your BAH and TRICARE. Getting a child out of you was easy. I love being from Fayetteville. Soldiers are easy to play with. Bye bye, babe. Can't wait to see how heartbroken you are. I'm getting back with my ex when we marry at Bliss. So excited to surprise my girls and take them to Council Farms. 
Oh wait, we're stuck in traffic because another idiot is attempting to jump off the Bay Bridge. I mean, if you get all the way up there, just freaking jump instead of wasting our time. I'm so over it. Oxford University student who stabbed her Tinder lover in a drink and drug fueled rage could be spared jail by a judge because she's extraordinary and it would damage her surgeon career. I slipped an abortion pill in my pregnant girlfriend's tea. My girlfriend came out with the news that she was pregnant. She was excited, but I wasn't. I do want to have kids, but not right now. I'm not ready. I'm still studying and I'm not earning much right now. There's no way we can afford kids. I do not want to raise a child at this time. It'd be cruel. When she broke the news to me, I asked her what do we do next. She said she wanted to continue with the pregnancy. I told her I didn't want to raise a child right now and that she should abort. We got into a fight. It wasn't too bad. I refrained from escalating the argument because I need to be on her good side now. Last thing I need right now is her asking child support for the next 18 years for me. I locked myself in the bathroom for a while. I was scared, my heart thumping, knowing that I'd have to deal with this for the rest of my life, all because she didn't want to get an abortion. I started looking up what to do when I don't want to raise a child as a man. I got nothing. I realized I was pretty much screwed. She'd leech off of me for the rest of my life. That's when I suddenly thought of the abortion pill. I could pass it off as a miscarriage. All I had to do was be nice to her so that she'd still be living with me. I got out of the bathroom. I hugged her and told her the whole, no matter what, I'll always be there for you stuff. It worked. Now I had to start planning. Over the next few days, I obtained both the abortion pills. I started waking up early and making tea for her every morning. Then I slipped the first abortion pill. Then a day later, the second. I told her it was a miscarriage and that it happened sometimes and that we can try again later. Even had to comfort her through all of this. I'm just glad it's all over. A week later, I broke up with her. Made up reasons like blaming it on the miscarriage. She moved out two days ago and I'm proud but sad. Proud because I took charge of my own life and did what needed to be done. Sad because I needed to do all of this just so I wouldn't get screwed over by the court system. I am sorry about your laptop. Hello, I am very, very sorry for taking your laptop. I am extremely poor and needed the money. I left your phone and wallet, so I hope that slightly makes up for something. I can see you are a university student. If there is any files such as university work on here that you need, let me know and I will send them to you here. Once again, I am sorry. When you pray for someone's death due to political reasons, you may want to reevaluate who you are as a person. Just saying. Unless it's Hillary. Agreed. Huh? That definitely looks like the food you get in the free food packages from local food pantries. Are you getting those and then making people pay for you to resell them? I get them from the food pantry. We didn't have any more room. So you're selling something that struggling people can get for free and using this resource to your own advantage by selling it rather than donating it back? That's messed up. Wow, good morning everyone. This was what we walked into this morning. To whomever abandoned this beautiful cat, thank you. This is both heartbreaking and rewarding. You did not deserve this animal. She has matted fur, her claws are so grown in they have curled in. She is shaken and we are almost certain she is pregnant, but eating and in the warmth after spending hours in the cold on the concrete. This is the sad realities of a cat's life. Hello dog owners, there have now been two reports at least of dogs picking up tennis balls at Blackford and Hermitage area and becoming very ill. One greyhound has sadly passed away. Please warn everyone there appears to be poison laced tennis balls in that area. Please be careful. The other day I asked this gentleman if he had a mask in his pocket as he walked past the bar without one. As I walked up to take his drink order, I slid one of our disposable masks to him. As he stood up to tell me he was going to smoke, I said that's fine, but if you're up and moving I need you to wear a mask. He started a fire on my bar with my tip. He tried to start a fire on the patio. I had to physically put out a fire over a fucking mask. I hate it here. Should I tell my 17-year-old daughter I don't want to see her anymore once she turns 18? I have no legal responsibility for her once she turned 18 or 21. Tell her absolutely as soon as possible. That way she can quickly see how absolutely toxic you are and what a blessing it will turn out to be for her. As you grow old, sick, and lonely, she will thrive. She will grow. She will heal. She will succeed and find peace. She will live a life of joy and love. As you will find darkness and despair and you will know absolutely that you earned every bit of it. Do you know this woman? You might have seen it in the news. She took all the beautiful birdhouses on our block and threw them in the trash around 12.15 a.m. September 10th. Ponytail in a skirt and flip-flops. Only thing with her was a pair of wire cutters, so she must be local. If you have any information or saw who did this, please email us. Prosecutors accused a woman of fundraising for her son's funeral when in reality she had placed the boy for adoption. 
Some of y'all got ugly ass boyfriends. Oh my god. Girlfriends too. Let's not put other women down. But how can you say that about men? It's sexist. <laughs> you can't be sexist towards men in a man's world. The world is what you make it. If you think men rule your world, then that's you. I live in my own world. Driver 22, who was high on cocaine and alcohol, crashed car into tree, then moved his unconscious friend into driving seat to frame her for death of boy 16 in front passenger seat. This is me holding my free pumpkin iced coffee I got today at Starbucks. I walked in without a mask. The gentleman asked me if I had a mask and I said no, I do not wear a mask. Then he said that I could place an order outside using the app. And I said I do not have the app and so he printed a strip of receipt tape for me to write my order down. He could not take a verbal order because I was not wearing a mask. He also could not take my payment because I was not wearing a mask. Therefore, he gave me my drink free. I had to wait outside for him to bring me my drink. I cheated on my boyfriend six times. He knows about two of those times. The other day, went out with a guy and fucked in a mall parking lot. He's tried to end it, but he can't. I mean, look at me. My grandma, a 74-year-old woman, almost died last week and had to get her leg amputated. Isn't this just a great little note to come across when you go to clean her house up? You need to take care of your dog before I personally take him to the pound. This is beyond ridiculous. Indigenous woman live-streamed hospital nurses insulting her on her deathbed. The footage shows the woman desperately trying to breathe in between moans and screams of anguish. Nurses can then be heard calling her stupid as hell in French. You made some bad choices, my dear, another nurse added. What are your children going to think seeing you like this? <laughs> 